Let's see if we can spot a pattern with our decimals. What comes next when you see these numbers? Can you see a pattern and could you work out what the next couple of numbers are? Well, what about if I actually change something slightly and had this instead? Now we've actually got whole numbers. And if you look, you can see that we add 3 to 12 to get 15. Then we add 3 again to get 18. So our pattern is to add 3 to the last number to get the next number, 21, 24. So what we want to do is be able to say these numbers so we can hear what they actually represent. So we're going to have a look at them because now we've gone back to our decimals. What you can see is each of these numbers has a digit in the tens place and a digit in the hundreds place. So that means these are hundreds. So if we actually think of what they are, we've got 12 hundreds, 15 hundreds and 18 hundreds. So now you might be able to spot the pattern. Each number is three more hundreds than the number before. So let's take a look. 12 hundreds plus three more hundreds does make 15 hundreds. Then if we have another three hundreds, we get 18 hundreds. So what we need to do now is add on another three hundreds, and that means we'll get 21 hundreds. And one more number, 21 plus three, is 24. So if we're thinking about what comes next here, we get 24 hundreds. This time we've got a little twist, so see if you can spot the pattern. Now this is a little different. Have a look at these numbers and see if you can work out what comes next. Hmm, well there's a little thing here that's different. If you look carefully you'll see this number is 1 and 45 hundreds. This number is 1 and 4 tenths and this number's 1 and 35 hundredths. Now when we're working out patterns, we don't really want to deal with tenths and hundredths. So what we can do is actually rename 1.4 tenths to 1 and 40 hundredths. Because remember, it's the same thing. And a good way to remember that, if you put a zero on the far right after your decimal point, you don't change the value of the number. So you can do that, and now we've got all of our decimals with hundredths. Now we need to spot the pattern. Now they are getting smaller because if you have a look, we've got 1 and 45 hundredths. Then we have 1 and 40 hundredths. So we've got 5 hundredths less. And let's see if that's true next time. We went from 1 and 40 hundredths. If we have 5 hundredths less, we get 1 and 35 hundredths, which we do. So our pattern is that we're subtracting 5 hundredths. So that means we're going to have 1 and how many hundredths here? Well, we've got 35 hundredths on the last number, so we'll have 1 and 30 hundredths. And what about the last number? Take a second to work it out. Did you get 1 and 25 hundredths? There's our pattern. We're decreasing by 5 hundredths each time.